I was in a self-growth rabbit hole. And the more you dig, the more you find. It was my first year playing as a professional basketball player. And this is when my self-growth journey started. Outside of basketball practices, I had a decent amount of time on my hands. And I decided to use that time for self-growth. Nutrition, psychology, emotional intelligence, spirituality, everything and anything that could help me understand myself better. So at that time, I remember I was learning about breath work, pranayama, which simply means connecting your mind and your body through breath work. I'm the type of person that I like to experience things myself. So what I did was I started Googling breath work exercises. So I come across this older guy who goes swimming in the winter time, snow all around, freezing temperature, and this guy is swimming in this ice cold water like it's the Maldives or something. I was fascinated by his mind control and just like the way he was able to go behind his mind, like it was freezing and he's just like casually doing this. I, I, was, I was fascinated by that. It was the Wim Hof method, and the guy was Wim Hof. And this is how my cold exposure started. See, the first thing you do when you get in the cold water is you start grasping for air, right? That, like, like, that cold shock. <gasps> That's like deep breathing. What I learned for me is when I'm in the area like this, I'd rather just dive in like full out rather than walk in slowly. So this is what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> that first initial, woo, that feels good. And that, whoo, that's what you have to learn. <sighs> Control the mind. Everything's okay. Whew. I'm in control. And you focus on the breath. What happens, you take away everything that's happening to the body right now, the cold exposure. You focus on the breath. You connect. This is where the connecting the mind and the body come into play through breathing. And slowly but surely, you start becoming in control of your mind, of your body, and of yourself, which is the most important thing. It makes it a lot easier when you have a beautiful view such as this to look into. Woo. Again, I just need a few minutes, not a lot. I'm not trying to set a Guinness World Record here. Just enough where my body's in shock. But at the same time, it's a healthy shock. I'm in control of the shock. Woo. This is good. And this is where I fell in love with the whole process of cold exposure. Not too bad today. The temperature is 11 Celsius again. Not windy. It was still cold though. It was still, it was cold. I could feel my body warming up right now. The best part after I do this and when my body is warming up, you literally feel like your cold blood just flowing through the body. And it's, it's, that's the connecting with the body. You start feeling things start feeling some interesting things within your body. This is how you get the shot. 
you gotta set the camera, walk all the way down, come back. 